Marco, you've been sidelined with injury recently, but you're back to fitness, working hard. Yeah, it's n- nice to be back, nice to be training again, um, getting a bit of game time. Obviously, had the um, bit of game time off the bench last week, which was nice, and yeah, it's just nice to be back in the mix and hopefully keep working on and get back into the team soon. And with Alafotti now coming into the fray, the back row's quite a competitive area. I guess you've got to give that little bit extra in training. Yeah, yeah, the boys have been going pretty well on the back row, to be honest. I mean, we've got a great bunch of players who are there and, and, and they've been playing well, so it's been quite hard to get the opportunity and, yeah, Alafotti doesn't necessarily make things much easier. But, um, yeah, keep, keep working hard. I mean, I got a fair bit of game time um, last year. I know the coaches have a fair bit of faith in me, so I keep working hard and hopefully get there eventually. Yeah. What was your reflections from Plymouth? It was a well-earned win. Yeah, exactly that. I mean, it was always going to be a bit of a, a bit of a battle, and it was always going to be one of those games that didn't come come down to many expansive tries or anything like that. But it, we did what we needed. And we played the conditions as they should be played, and we and we got the win in the way that we we were looking to get the win, and the, and the best way to get the win as well. So yeah, it came off pretty well for us. And what's been talked about this week in the training camp ahead of London Scottish? How are you approaching that one? Yeah, I, I mean, uh, there are a lot of things which are quite similar to um, Plymouth, and th- there are a few things which we've had to, which we've had to look at, and think, well, we might need to make a few changes there. Um, the main thing being the weather, uh, the the fact that it's likely to be a dry night on Friday night will make a massive difference. I mean, it's a completely different sort of game that you play against them. But I, I think we're up, up to the challenge. I mean, we're carrying a fair bit of confidence from the Plymouth game. Um, it looked like we um, worked the game plan well and, and it paid off for us and I think we're hoping to do pretty similar things against Scottish on Friday night. Because it's important now to build on those two wins because otherwise that hard work will go to waste if, if we don't get the result. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's one of the things that we've been struggling with this year, um, trying to back up our wins with another win and, and keep the momentum going. And yeah, I mean, it's, it's going to be key for us and in the bigger picture with the, um, for the whole season, I mean, this is what we're going to have to do. We've got ourselves in, into the situation where we we really need to get some momentum and get a few wins under our belt. So it's yeah, it's, I mean, it's a, a big big task, but I'm pretty confident that we can achieve it. Particularly good record at the Mem on a Friday night. What is it about playing under the floodlights there? Uh, obviously, the support um, plays a, a bit a pretty big factor, um, and I, I don't know what I was doing. It's quite hard to explain, but there's something about a Friday night game. You just get that extra little buzz, and you know that everyone's a bit more, a bit more up for the game and a bit more ready for it. So it's it's almost one of those things you can't really explain. But if you if you're ever there to experience it, you you understand.